When the family brought a new puppy home, they all stood round staring at the pup. It had droopy ears and a rather long feathery tail. No one knew quite what sort of dog it was. Come on, what shall we call him? Mandy, who was six, nearly seven, said, Jeremy. Why Jeremy? After Jeremy Fisher, we read about him in school today. But he was a frog, not a dog. I did like to call him Toblerone. Why Toblerone? Because he's sort of chocolate colored and that's my favorite. The trouble with names like Jeremy and Toblerone is that they are too long. A dog should really have a short name. It is easier for him to learn and for us to say. I know. We could call him Ben. I know. But it's short. That's silly. I shall call him Jeremy. She walked out of the room calling. Come along, Jeremy. But the puppy took no notice. Then, Polly walked out too calling. Toblerone, come along, Toblerone. But the puppy still took no notice. It stayed sitting in front of the small boy, wagging its rather long feathery tail. In some ways, they were rather alike. Both had brown hair and short legs and were rather fat. You try going out of the room, Ben, and you call the puppy. And you call the puppy. And see what happens. They smiled at one another. Nothing would happen, they thought. Okay, come on, Ben. He trudged out with the puppy following close at his heels. Mom and Dad looked at each other with their mouth open. In a moment, Mandy and Polly came running back into the room. It's not fair, they cried. He's a puppy too, but he's just following Ben round the garden, and he doesn't take any notice when we call him. What did you call? Jeremy. Toblerone. Try saying, Ben. So they all went into the garden, and the two girls called Ben, and the puppy came running. See, he answers to his name. It is going to be very confusing. In fact, as time went by, they found it was very useful to have both, a son and a dog with the same name. Because Mandy and Polly were at school, Ben spent all day with Ben and the same words served for both. Be quiet. For example, stopped one yelling and the other yapping and both came when the name was called and sat down when they were ordered and each looked equally pleased when told. What a good boy, Ben. And indeed, Ben was a good boy or rather, a good puppy. He never made a mess, he never chewed curtains or covers, he ate well and he slept soundly at night. As well as learning the ordinary things that dogs learn, he took to copy everything that the boy did. If Ben laughed, Ben barked. If Ben cried, Ben howled. If Ben lost his temper and roared angrily, Ben growled. And one day, would you believe it, Mom looked out of the window to see, not one, but to Ben, turning somersaults on the lawn. There was confusion. Sometimes, of course. I took Ben to have his jabs today. To the doctor or the vet? Ben wants a biscuit. Custard cream or bonio? Ben's been ever so good today. Good boy or good dog? But mostly, it worked very well. Until one day, it all changed. Dad came home to find Mom very worried. Thank goodness you're back. Why? What's up? Ben. Ben's been very naughty. He doesn't do a single thing Mom says. Which Ben? Two-legged or four? Two. I just don't know what's the matter with him. At that moment, Ben, the boy, came into the room followed by Ben the dog. Speak to him. Come here, Ben. The dog obeyed. The boy stayed where he was. Do you hear me, Ben? The boy did not reply. The dog wagged its rather long feathery tail. You see? Dad went over and squatted down before his son. What's the matter? Why don't you answer me? I thought you were talking to the dog. You said come here, Ben and do you hear me, Ben? But that's your name too. But that's your name too. No, 
It's not. He stroked the fat puppy's brown hairy coat. He can keep that name. I've grown out of it. It's too short for me. I need a new one. What do you want us to call you then? Jeremy Toblerone. He can keep that name, he said. Their little brother shook his head. Not long enough. Well, let's see. How about Bartholomew? At the sound of this name, the puppy wagged its rather long feathery tail like mad. The boy grinned all over his face. He likes it. He likes it. Bartholomew? Yes, mom.